seven months. Though as travelers, we should be so fortunate that the worst thing that should happen is picking the wrong tint when getting your hair colored. Now don't get me wrong, the services here at the South End Barber Shop in the South Sea neighborhood of Nairobi are excellent. The cut, the color, a massage, and a gratuity, all for $20. But let it be said that the uh, natural shade of my color will take a long time to return to its normal state. get me wrong I uh, I definitely needed a spa day especially after the last few weeks when I had been in the Great Rift Valley in the center of Kenya let's uh, let's take a look at some clips regarding the four stories that will be upcoming in the next few weeks no well, you can't get this view when you ride a bus hi monkey fish-eating birds, and they have found a taste for flamingo eggs. Particularly impressive in the late afternoon. And these are known as obsidians. <laughs> I can definitely not taste the poison. That's a whole stampede of warthogs. To the elephant pepper, Toothbrush. Cheese. Here's a travel tip for you when you are in Kenya. If you uh, do need malaria pills, doxycycline, they, uh, they are only 10 cents a pill. If you, uh, if you do learn one word in the local language of uh, Swahili, uh, that would be Mzungu. And what is a Mzungu? Well, I am, and uh, basically it means white person. Now, as a Mzungu, as a white person in Kenya, you definitely will stand out, uh, hair color notwithstanding. And uh, that's good because you will always be the center of attention, but it can get tiresome when the locals always call out Mzungu, Mzungu, Mzungu. But you uh, like that right there, exactly. Mzungu. And so, uh, what also Mzungus get can also be the uh, the special price. Now, I've learned that uh, 50 shillings, 100 shillings, 50 cents, a dollar uh, for, for small purchases, uh, I, I've learned it's just not worth the grind. Give it up, know where the money's going to the locals, and be done with it. However, however, uh, on a bigger scale, Mzungus, foreigners, or otherwise referred to as non-residents, at the national parks, oh boy, do they have to pay big time. And uh, quite often, it's about 8, 10, 12 times the amount as, uh, as the Kenyan, uh, Kenyan nationals. And that's why on Borders on Budgets, we haven't gone to any of the national parks because I refuse to spend 50 up to $80 to see uh, the trees and the animals when this country already has enough opportunities to see the flora and the fauna at a significantly cheaper prices. So be aware of Mzungus in Kenya. That all said, please enjoy the next few weeks of videos from the Great Rift Valley. And uh, by the time we speak to each other next, uh, well, we'll be in another country. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hoping that the hair color will have uh, been toned down.